Hi guys, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, before I begin, just a little disclaimer. Um, um, as far as, new, if there are any listeners here that are not saved or not believers yet or whatever, um, if you think the standard Christian doctrine or what's going on is weird, this is just going to completely throw you off. So, <laughs> um... Just a little fair warning, um, this video is going to be a little bit out there uh, for anyone who wishes to uh, pursue this matter or um, wishes to hear. Now, unfortunately, I, I am making this video premature because I want to talk about something I, I have not fully grasped. But um, anyway, to get to the point. Um, there's there's um, a man in the body of Christ named Jonathan Kleck. Many of them, many people are familiar with him. Um, perhaps you're not. Uh, my personal experience, I, I've heard of him only until recently. And I, I didn't really watch his videos. I didn't really pay much attention. Okay, ongoing. And... Um, Anything to uh, sever your thoughts. So um, I never really paid too much attention to him. Um, but at random I found some videos how people in the body of Christ were supernaturally led. How the Lord showed them like no his information is true. Etc. Stuff like that. So who, what Jonathan Kleck, what he has been called to do. The Lord has called him to show us to unveil to us some information that is actually really important, especially to the times we're living in right now, because it pertains to the Great Tribulation in the book of Revelation. And if you're called to be in the 144, or to be a comebacker, whatever term you want to use, um, he has the information who exactly we're going to be fighting. Um who we're going to be up against, and who humanity has been up against since the beginning of Earth. Um, pretty much this stuff is the answer to why we are here, what life is all about, why we are in this flesh, why we are male and female, why we are in sin, and, and it makes sense how the Lord's going to redeem us of these things, hopefully very soon, if not today, right? Um, or at least begin to redeem us. So, um, those are the times we're living in. So, what is all this information? What's the general gist? Unfortunately, I don't. I cannot. The way Jonathan, Mister Kleck, puts his information, his videos are very long, and. Um, it's hard to really gather the whole doctrine or just the factual information of the hows and whys. Um, I don't know, but I do understand how important his information is. And I have been investing the time and in, in watching his videos, um, especially recently. They're like four hours a pop. So I don't know. Um, if you're interested in this topic, um, I highly suggest um, searching out his videos. Um, look in the description box below. Now the general gist is, unfortunately I, I cannot tell you the whole doctrine or make sense of it because I just don't know. I'm trying to make sense of it myself, but I really want to share these things because the evidence is just ridiculous. I'm watching, I was watching a video right now and I just saw, I know exactly what that means because of the information Jonathan Kleck has been showing. Um... One of Paul Begley's videos from last night about the Nephilim, um, the whole serpent mound, the serpent trying to eat the egg, stuff like that. Um, it's like I know exactly what that means. And it's because of Kleck's information that no human on earth can know this. It's it's the secret of all secrets on earth. It's what the the Vatican knows and nobody else knows. Stuff like that. So what is it? Well, to my lack of understanding, I'm going to do the best I can, is that we are in a host body system, right? 
So we have souls and we are, our bodies are just hosts. Okay. Now we know we are in sin. So basically there is a good part of us. We a good part of us and there is a fallen part of us. Unfortunately, I'm holding my phone with two hands. I can't use two hands, but if you can imagine Oh, that's not going to happen. A thumbs up, you know, a hand up and a hand down, okay? And what you want to do is bring that hand down up and be born again and be converted, right? Like Jesus says, okay, take this sin nature out of us. Um, how this applies to Adam and Eve exactly, I don't know. Um, I have a lot of questions that I can't find the answers to yet. But, but generally... We are in a host body system. I think we were once some type of angels, Elohim, angels of God. And um, we were deceived. And we, or we fell. Something happened that we wound up in the flesh, in our bodies right now. And we're divided into male and female. Um, and we have this heavenly nature about us and we have this devilish nature about us and we are torn and the battle rages between that as many probably know, right? We are in sin and so we battle our flesh. So generally, I'm, I'm, to my understanding, this is all controlled um, by some type of alien, insect, scorpion, serpent, Apollyon, Satan. It's all the same, generally speaking, type of race living underground, locusts, under, race underground. And, um, and basically what we are like us in the body of Christ, we're like a disease to these, to these entities of Satan, okay? To these scorpions, to these bugs. That's what they are. And we who are, who have been chosen to hold on to our angelic side, because um, their mission is to wipe out that angelic side. And really get people to embrace their sin. And you know the stuff what the world does. And that way if they when they die in their sin. Then they go down to that bottomless pit. And they are completely evil. And then they could take up a host body. And they could look like a human. Yet they're completely demonic and a bug. Oh, look, guys I really don't have the answers. But this is pretty much the truth of our existence. And um. And what we are, what life is all about. No, it's not a really pretty, pretty um, reality check. I mean, going into this information, it really is like, whoa. Like, but let me tell you, even though I, I haven't figured out the answers, but absorbing this information, and, and I do know there is a lot of truth to it, um, absorbing it has helped me so much. Because I've been able to look past my sin. Just sins we all battle with. With like lust and stuff like that. and Or just whatever. Because we know we're not supposed to be in this flesh body. It's temporary. Um, we were not made for this. Well, I mean, I mean we're in this flesh body because we did something wrong. Or, I don't know. I don't know the, I don't, I don't know the facts. Okay. I, I really don't know. But I do know seeing that. Okay. Well. We're not really meant to be male and female and stuff like that. And the scriptures say that. We'll be redeemed. The male and female will be one, etc. And, um, I don't know. It really helped me to overlook my sin nature grasping this information. On the second, um, I'm going to leave some scriptures in the description box below for people to contemplate because this stuff is scriptural even though I, I have so many questions but I just the way Mr. Kleck unfortunately does his videos um, he has like 
you know, his hours, his videos are like many hours long. And, um, you know, I don't know. I just don't, I wish I could just get the, well, the hows and whys exactly. Um, but I don't know, maybe he'll do one. I don't know. But, um, I wish I could make sense of it all because it is a lot of information. It is, it's heavy stuff. But this stuff is scriptural. I'm not just saying, okay, Seth is following some information again. Here we go. No, man, this stuff is scriptural. And I'm going to leave some scriptures to contemplate. Um, um, the Lord's recompense of this is clearly depicted in Ezekiel 13. There is an amazing scripture that G of a parable Jesus said in Luke. I had to find it. I'll put it below. And he doesn't really talk about, oh, you're in a host body system and there's these scorpions coming out to get us and, and blah, blah, blah. And, but he just uses that as the backdrop of his parable as if Jesus knows this is our reality. And this is why Jesus came in a host body system as God incarnate, as the Son of God, to negate this and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. You really have to watch Jonathan's videos and I highly recommend people do, doing so if they're interested in this. But I hope I'm able to convey enough to even to look at some scriptures down below and be like, wow. Because when we see that we're not even meant to be male and female. And of course the goal is, you know, we focus on what's unseen. It's all about the kingdom, what's coming supernaturally, what's coming down from heaven. You know, truth is from heaven. Um... And we're just supposed to crucify our flesh and fight all this stuff until that time, until our redemption. So, with that understanding, the scriptures just come alive. And even though I don't understand the full doctrine, I mean, I, I wish I knew how does this apply to Genesis 1 to 3. You know, I, I really wish I knew that, but I don't. But when you read about Jesus' stance on marriage and stuff like that and how... You know, wow, I mean, things just open up. I mean, people, you know, we condemn, believers condemn homosexuality, and that's a stumbling block because that really offends people. But you know what? Um, the scriptures, in some way, condemn heterosexuality as well. Jesus taught that, really, if we marry, we're not supposed to get divorced unless for adultery or fornication or whatever, but... Um, I'll put the scriptures below but because there are soul ties and stuff like that and I assume because our mates are supposed to belong to us in the kingdom that's coming and and it's tough and it's not, that's why Jesus says whoever could accept this will accept it or something like that I'm going to leave the scripture below um, a piece of the information Part of this information, um, I could also personally testify to that I do know is the truth. Now, I'm going to try to give my testimony here. There's a little bit of a testimony as well. Um, apparently, we live in a double reality. You know, this is where we get the double U from. Okay? Two Vs make a double U. Okay? Mr. Kleck has all this information down. But there's a... There's a a good one of us in one reality and there's a bad one of us in another reality. So, and we live in that, in a double reality. Now, I don't have the answers, but I'll tell you this. I do have a testimony that I know that that's true and that's factual because the Lord did something in my life What's with that. And if anyone's familiar with my testimony, if they could piece the, if they do take the time to gather Mr. Kleck's information and watch what uh, Jonathan Kleck has to say and the information the Lord has revealed to him, um, and if anyone's familiar with my testimony, you could put the pieces together, the male and female, um, sex bomb baby stuff like that. Okay, it it, it answers come. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I just want to share a little bit of a testimony. A couple years ago, how I know that there is a good one of us and there's a bad one of us living at the same time in some type of dual reality system. Okay. 
Now I'm just going to share a little bit of my testimony. So again, if anyone is still watching this and is not really a part of the body of Christ yet or not a believer, well, I don't know. Um, it's going to get weird. So there was a time around, I don't know what year, it was a couple years ago by now, I guess 2017, maybe 2016. If anyone's familiar with my story, my story started with me contacting a particular female musician and then the mafia came after me and and the FBI got involved and and when I was at my lowest and nowhere to go, nothing to do and and completely down like you know, the Lord intervened. But anyway, um you know, that woman is like a family member. I, I dearly love her and care about her. Um, and there was um, romantic kind of stuff involved at one time. Now, we never actually met. But there was a time in my walk with the Lord that we were going to meet. She was going to come over or something like that. And... Or it never happened. She never showed up. And all I know is... All I could say is this. The next day... I go out and I go to the supermarket. La -da 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 -da, everything's normal. I'm in my little targeting situation. Yes! I'm going to pick up Shanti. Okay. I will. Okay. Sorry. Um, so anyway, continuing. I'm sorry for that interruption. I'm not going to do the video again. Um, to make a long story short, so I was, me and this woman were supposed to meet. She was supposed to come over. According to me, it never happened. The next day, I go out. In my situation and you know I'm in my particular you know surrounded by my persecutors and their cars and blah 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 and I'm just walking to the supermarket like it's a normal day and you know blah 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 everyone's looking at me weird not only the the Satanists my my persecutors are looking at me like like you know like I did something wrong and all the good people surveilling me or looking at me like they want to come after me. And I'm just like, I don't know what, okay. I'm just like, whatever. And everyone's reading my mind and everything anyway. So eventually by the time I make it to the supermarket line, they eventually put this on in my head like, um, they were saying like, you had improper sexual relations with that woman last night. Or, and I'm just like, that never happened. I never met that woman. And I could see as I'm, as I thought in my head, people were surrounding me like in confusion. And this one woman looked at me like, well, you know, they could read my thoughts in my heart. They know I was telling the truth. Like, I don't know, I don't know what you guys saw. You know, I don't know where I am anymore, but that never happened. I never met her yet. And, um, so, Apparently, what happened, somehow overnight, the Lord swapped me in another reality. And he was very kind and gracious about it. So, I mean, that's enough to freak anybody out where all of a sudden you wake up and and the people around you, I mean, everything is normal to me. But all the people actually surveilling my, you know, my whole situation here. I was not the same person. Apparently, I, <laughs> it's weird guys. Okay. Apparently, the person who had sexual relations with her, who, which was while she was pregnant, and it was something, it was improper, and I don't know what happened. Um, but, that, Apparently, the next day, I'm walking along, and I am who I am right now. And I'm a more moral person. I'm a better person. 
So the Lord kind of swapped my reality from in a reality where it was the where the the evil me was, the Lord put who I am right now. And it hasn't changed since then. And this was about maybe two years ago. And it's a shell shocker. And all of a sudden, I don't know, I did notice some difference in my relationship with my father. Like, I think he was really surprised I was a better a better guitar player and stuff like that. Um, I think I was still drinking then and I'm, I don't do that anymore. And I don't know, but the Lord swapped the realities. Now, in my understanding, I did learn that all the, the factions out there, the good people, eventually figured out the ability to get in touch with that older reality, where I came from or whatever. And, um, and that older reality is like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's always been this way. You know, nothing happened here. Nothing changed here. So, I know it's crazy. I don't know if people or if this makes sense, but... Apparently, I was just living my life like normal. And all of a sudden, the Lord swapped me into my older... Who I am. I've always been, you know, who I am. The Lord swapped me into my evil reality. But swapped the good me into my evil reality. Um, You know, because we live in like a parallel universe. A double U. That's where the double U comes from. Uh, Stuff like that. So if people can conceive... I know I, it's confusing. I don't know if people get it, but I was always me. I was supposed to meet that woman. It never happened. The next day, a lot of it Everyone's looking at me like you. You had sex, and my body felt like I had sex recently too. I, like it felt like I I had it, like my flesh had it, but it never happened. No memory. That never happened, man. I never met her. I never met her physically. I never had a conversation with her. Never. Um, so the souls were swapped or something. So that's my little testimony. And it's been that way ever since. I don't know. And things are normal and you, you adapt. I don't know. But, um, we'll know the answers later. And I'll tell you in my searches and watching YouTube videos, I know other people have had similar testimonies that that has happened to out of nowhere. There's some kind of quantum shift and they get shifted into another reality or another version of their life. And it's scary. Um, So, okay. I'm going to go, guys. Um, Thank you for watching.